Hi there everybody, welcome to a spider shop tutorial. Today I'm going to be build, building three enclosures. So the uh, arboreal arc acrylic small, the arboreal acrylic medium and the large ones. Now it'll be my first time doing these. So it's a good representation of how easy they are for you to do when you buy them. So first thing I'm going to do, we're going to start with the large one, just because it's going to be less fiddly I suppose. So these come with everything you need to be able to build your own arboreal acrylic enclosure. Let's set this one up. This will be everything you need to build your own acrylic arboreal enclosure. And if it's done right, it should look like this. Like this. Now this is the large arboreal enclosure set up for a postal etheria. And I'm going to show you how to build every single one in this range. Uh, and I'll show you by, by building this. Now they're super easy. And the, the same method is for every single size. So we'll do it with the big one because it's easy to see. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is peel off the protective coating. Just like that. And remember, both sides. because these are absolutely transparent, crystal clear acrylic. Okay, that's all the plastic off, and you can see they are crystal clear. Really nice. And this is pretty super sexy, I think, as well. Look at that. Can you see that? Love that. So you want to start with the base and then <clears throat> I think the best idea is to do the base right then the sides and the back and then the top and then maybe and then maybe the little doors for the front the front opening doors and they're held together with this is going to sound weird, but they're held together with rubber bands on the outsides. They're very, very cool, quite ingenious way to keep everything light, to keep everything fixed. Now also, using this method, all right, just like that, hold on, like that, and then you put the elastic bands there. What happens sometimes with acrylics is that they warp within heat, especially in spider rooms. So having them with the elastic bands means that they can actually move themselves without cracking or breaking. As well, you can uh, use a bond, an acrylic bonding agent. Um, so if you then just use the agent there, basically it just melts the two bits of plastic together, forming a seal. That's that, in that way they can be, um, they hold water, they can be waterproof. So, right, what we're going to start off with is, I'm just going to put that like that. Sand. Just like a teepee, get myself some elastic bands. And then I'm just going to put the elastic band It's a handy little tip for you, if you've got big clunky hands like me, you can actually use a small tweezers and just hook it on, we hook it on there, and that's hooked on there. Literally that is it, how good is that, I like that. 
It comes with, looks like it comes with spare rubber bands as well, just in case you lose any. Okay. So there's the back onto the base, see? And just repeat. So I'm going to put the sides on next. And you just click any, everything slots into place. They're all the right size, just like that. And then that then slots in, that then slots in. This is well cool. And if you're anything like me, love building stuff. It's right in the wind, there we are. And let me show you uh, close up what I mean with these elastic bands now. So I just put my thumb to hold it into one bit on one side, stretch it, stretch, <laughs> stretch the elastic band. And that's on. Just push it down a little bit. And they're grooved so they hook themselves in. Okay, so it's literally just a case of repeating the elastic bands on every single corner. Every bit that sticks out. So I'll move on to the next bit for you. That'll be the front. Uh, and I'll just pop these on here. You don't need to see me do that. So that's the substrate barrier in now. Now we're just going to the door. It just literally, just honestly, it's so simple. It just goes in like that. And it's got an up and over mechanism. Some front opening. Now we're going to put Now we're going to put the roof in. Oh, and this needs to go. Now this goes behind the front door, just to um, well make sure you haven't got a gap there where something can escape. So I'm going to go for. Um, you can do these right in either a top, which is a hard top for like uh, spiders, or mesh top for jumping spiders and mantis and that kind of stuff. So first thing we're going to do is, I'm going to do it as a, um, ah, hang on a sec, you know, let's get that out of the way. Put, so you want to do your, do that last. And what's good, right, with the elastic bands, it gives you a little bit of give. Uh, given you know some play for you to be able to fit things in, which is really cool. Oh, that's my door falling the wrong way. That's all right. Right. Now then, I'm gonna close, open this door up, so I can fit the behind the door bit back in. Sweet. Door then can close. And we got a little, there's actually a little plastic doorknob, which you'd have to um, glue in, I suppose. I like that. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So this would be kind of your one for spiders. And then um, you see I've got this mesh as well. So the mesh can go over there. 
sound. So there's two types of screws in here. We, we want um, hang on, screws. So there is that kind and that kind. They, they are two different screws. So that one for the mesh, this one for the hard top. Okay, so what we're doing next is these little boys here. Oh, it's actually worth mentioning at this point, right? If you find that any of these don't line up properly, your base is causing the problem. So just change the base round like that. One notch, give another shot, and I bet you it'll all just fit in together. I literally had the same problem. So I'm going to peel these plastic bits off. And they, they go like that, see, on the tops. So it will prevent a spider from pushing it open. And they're held together by these screws. You'll want the fatter ones if you're going to have a plastic hard top and the thinner ones if you want to use the mesh which I'll do in a sec now I'll change them over but mine are going to be used for spiders and just do the same with all four and you've got yourself a nice locking top see what I mean it moves like that obviously won't once I've uh, uh, the kit comes with your own little allen key and allen key from the top Like that. So if you want, you can move them to gain access to the top. It's bang in, that is. So I'm going to repeat, and I can show you the whole top should come off then. And we've got ourselves a really safe. Of course, I'm going to have to. I've forgotten to. I haven't made it uh, tight, tight, just in case there was anything else I needed to uh, adjust on it. But now I know we're at the end. I can uh, put my bands on all the bits, of, all the ones that are missing now, and it'll be rock solid. I might, personally, I might actually bond them. So, I, like Lego, I'll take this apart again once I've done this video, and then I think I'll I'll glue them um, with. It's not glue; it's bond, acrylic bond. But I like them. So here's the range. This is them. So this is the large. Uh, as there's an adult spider going into this one. I've left the hard top on it. Then the medium. I've put a mesh top on it. These all come with it. And then the super cute little small one. I just left with the hard top for now. But they are sturdy, a lot more sturdy than I thought they were going to be, to be honest. And remember, if you want that extra bit of waterproofing, you can always um, use an acrylic bond on them. But then you won't have um, basically the flex in them. Because some acrylic will warp with, with temperatures, especially temperatures in a spider room. But these, because the elastic in them, they actually move. It allows it to move in itself so it doesn't crack the acrylic. It's really cool. So, thank you for watching. Uh, I've been Garth from Arachnotube on behalf of the Spider Shop. 
and I hope you enjoy your enclosures. Take care.